It has been several months now and I've had this light, the L21B from Convoy, and I wanted to do a follow-up review. And the reason it's good to do a follow-up review with your lights is because it's very easy to get too excited and just praise your lights and then go have fun with the throw and, you know, enjoy that you've got a new shiny bright torch. But this deserves a lot more attention. And I wanted to do a night walk with it because uh, it is, uh, it's worth having a more in-depth look. Um, I can tell you, and I've had people ask this, and I wanted to clarify for the record. The Convoy L21B holds its heat better than any Convoy light or any other light in, uh, the, the, of its caliber, if I may say. So the idea that uh, you're going to have any sort of trouble is definitely not a thing you should worry about. Uh, this light handles its heat beautifully, and I ran it to, oh, up to 12 minutes constant on tonight for the walk, and um, it is pretty amazing. So I don't think you have anything to worry about. Uh, it doesn't, it'll, it won't step off. It'll keep performing at its highest level, at least it, it, to my eyes. I couldn't get it to step down. So this is a 1,200 meter light, more than that, about, about 1,220 meters and uh, about 2,000 lumens. So you're talking about an awful lot of light with a very tight hot spot that'll reach as far as you're gonna want it to. Now, the only fault I would give it is, you can see in the trees, you can see how it has that little nipple, outer nipple ring look there. That's the only thing that detracts, I think, from the illumination when you're out in great distances because uh, it doesn't, it has that, well, nipple or eyeball look to it. Uh, it has the hot spot, the inner hot spot, which stays very tight, and then it has the outer edge. But that's me being picky. So as I go back now several months and follow this up with another look at it, it's still an amazing light and, and still one of the best at handling its heat and performing like a champion. And uh, I would definitely recommend it to you. But I uh, hear that, we, that we're in San Antonio with low lighting, low, uh, no street lights and everything. We're able to just kind of go slower and focus on the uh, showing off the beam. Got more lights coming. Um, we will uh, hopefully have some fun tonight. Which is providing advanced intelligence to a foreign adversary and finally arguably espionage for providing top secret classified information to the president and the security council nothing else zero and in fact the law specifically prohibits him from having
Okay, folks, here's what it does when the battery gets low. We're going to leave it there just for a second, and it's, it's started to blink because I've been running it uh, quite, quite intensely. There we go. That's the low battery blink. It is saying it's going to be forced to step out of uh, regulation soon, which is very good. It gives you the chance to go and uh, watch it, uh, give it a chance to replace the cell so you can keep it can keep performing. Really, I'm impressed with that. 